Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. Uh, tonight we're doing Faithful Hound. It is uh, from South Africa, 2013. Um, let me see, I got some notes on it here. Uh, the winery is Mulder Bosch. Uh, anybody here ever have a South African wine? No. Never. No? So, very interesting. See if you all uh, like this, you can run out and try it or not. This one here is 39% Cabernet, 22% Cabernet Franc, 60% uh, Merlot, 14% Malbec, and 9% Petit Verdot. So it's quite a little mixture. Mm -hmm. um, it is aged in French oak, but I don't know how long, and it has a Christmas hat on. <laughs> All right, so. Um, anything else? The uh, bottle's, I guess, kind of cool, right? It's got a, some kind of a hunting dog on it. Uh, cool colors. 2013 Faithful Hound, Mulder Bosch, South Africa. It's got some kind of a South African crest and some kind of government seal on it. Uh, this looks cool. Foil's red. And we'll open it. Is that chilly? Yeah. It's uh, sweating a little bit because it's hot in here. The cork right on the top says 2013. Always like looking at the cork. Let's get my rabbit ear on this. All right, down the rabbit hole. Whoa! <laughs> now, what I like the opinion most of all, Joe, you're not a giant wine drinker at this point, are you? So actually your opinion is, is pretty valuable because for someone who doesn't, you know, it's, it, it adds another, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So let's try this. Ah, uh, oh, we'll put a uh, handy dandy aerator in here. All right, All right look at that. Nice color. Yeah. What would you say that is? That's actually a pretty red one. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's just like a what a red red. Yeah, dark red. Dark red. Dark red. Yeah, no purple, right? No. Nope. All right. You know, a lot of times the uh, Cabernet can be a little rough, but this has so much other softening uh, uh, grapes Blends, in it, yeah. and uh, it's four years old, so uh, so we got the color down. Looks pretty. Yeah. Oh, this was uh, $7.91. What happened? All right. Um, excuse her. She just said what happened for some reason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you smell? It's probably just a hair cold. It's closed up a little bit. Berry? Berries? Yeah. Like uh, the dark fruits or the light fruits? Like would you say raspberries? Raspberries. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm smelling. Smell. Yeah, that's what I'm smelling. I can smell the wood, the oak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Raspberries. Kind of got that red fruit thing coming. Mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, tart cherry. Did okay. I smell that? It's starting to come out. Yeah. A little bit of floral. Ooh. What are you tasting to me? Yeah. Or smelling, I should say. Yeah, as it warms up, it's the aroma is getting stronger, much stronger. Well, it smells good for seven ninety one. Uh, pretty reasonable. Yeah. Let's give her a taste. Soft. Smooth. What I mean by that is, there's no like uh, astringency, like the strong bitterness that comes out. The bite, yeah. yeah, it's just kind of a, like a well blended. Not even the aftertaste. No, no, no aftertaste. Wow, that's surprisingly. It's kind of like the uh, Israeli wine I had. It was surprisingly, uh, for a new wine, it was surprisingly soft and blended together and nothing. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice. Uh, Really, I don't taste too much tannin, no, no drying tannin hardly at all, you know, and it has the cab and it has the oak. It's French oak isn't a skull. Yeah, it's really smooth. It is. Wow. I taste the cherries and the berries and the oak. And then a little aftertaste, I do feel the tannin a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Slightly, and slightly. Slightly, and a little bit of acid. It's like nicely balanced. In the back, in the back of the uh, palate, you feel it. What do you think, John? No, thumbs up. I guess a thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so there's a man who doesn't drink a lot of wine, and he's pushing right into a red. 
and you're enjoying it. Yes. Would you say this is a sipper or something you have to have a food or both? It could be both. Yeah, I think both. So you'd feel comfortable drinking this uh, just by itself, talking because it's because it's mild, yeah. yeah. Right. So you don't have to have any. So the yeah. viewers like to know that. Uh, so yeah, so I give this a thumbs up, uh, and 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 it, once again, and if you take that's just by itself. If you take the fact that it's seven ninety one, and I think always when you get a like a South African wine, or any wine that's not California or Spain or over, it, there's always a little wow wow factor if you were to bring this somewhere, Why? because a lot of people probably never had a South Africa. So you show right. up yeah. and it's kind of cool. You sell it's from South Africa. It just adds a little bit to it, in my opinion. And this, I think, most people would like. And don't yeah. tell them how much it was. <laughs> no, no, no. Because <laughs> no. The, you, know, you don't want to prejudge because that, that is a really good wine. Yeah. It is. And once again, now the cork is, it's real corks. It's 2013. Uh, it says uh, Mulderbosch on it and has um, a little seal, uh, some kind of design on it. So uh, I think the bottle looks good. It's in a dark green bottle that looks black with the uh, mm -hmm. juice in it. It's got a nice label. Um, the price is perfect. It's got a nice color, and it's got a nice smell, and it's got a nice taste. And so, does anybody have any? Uh... And it should go good with our dinner tonight. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. So, from Hillbilly Wine One Hundred and One, everybody, thank you for watching. Merry Christmas.